Hello, I am Pastor John Lowry. I am Noah Lowry. And this is your children's church video with Noah and I synchronized, swimming our arms at the same time. And we didn't even practice. Whew. I think we just won an Olympic medal. Congratulations, Noah. No, we didn't. It's going to think that you think we did, Dad. Well, thank you, Noah. Well, I can give you one of my karate medals. Oh, I'd like a karate medal. And uh, I'm also having an amazing time right now, like brushing my hair while looking at myself in the <laughs> camera. So, are you guys ready for Children's Church? Yeah! I said, are you ready for Children's Church? Yeah! Let's get into our Music. There is a candle in every soul, some brightly burning, some dark and cold. There is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, and makes his home. Carry your candle, run to the darkness, seek out the Confused and torn, hold out your candle for all to see. Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle, go light your world. She's been robbed and lied to Still holds a candle Without a flame Carry your candle Run to the darkness Seek out the hopeless Confused and torn
Welcome back, everybody. And, and now it is time for offering. <laughs> offering. <laughs> Alright. Our offering goes to Hunger Children, where children cannot be placed in their foster care system. The way that we donate is by going online to rockvillecog.org or get to donate. It's it. And make sure you go on that line with your parents, kids. Alright, let's pray Yay. for our offering. Dear Father in Heaven, we thank you for this day. Bless the offering. Allow it to meet the needs of the kingdom. Lord, I pray that you would just touch those children as we give. Touch the households they give. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's get in to our next song. of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. in the New Testament. Matthew. Matthew. Mark. Mark. Luke. Luke. John. John. All right, let's do it Acts. again. No, no, that's not a gospel. That's a history book. That's the history of the church. So let's try the gospels again. You ready? Matthew. Mark. 
Luke, John, Pax. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the easy way to remember the Gospel of John is it's not necessarily named after me. So, means it's not named. So, does anybody know, do you know somebody named Matthew? Yes, Todd. Oh, the Bible. <laughs> no, no, I mean like, you, ever, you know someone in real life? Uh, yes, I do. My, my best friend in high school mm -hmm. was Matthew Reader. Matthew. And in also in high school, I had a friend named Mark. His name was Mark Basil. It's true. It's true. His name was Mark Basil. And then I had another friend in high school. His name was Luke Barnett. You like that? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So, all right, so here we go. Luke 11, 28 says this. And he replied, this would be Jesus, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. So first you have to hear it, then you have to obey it. What would be a good symbol for obey? You know, uh, you know, how about this? Obey. You're like a train. Chugging down the track. I am. Chugging down the track. Obey it. You gotta hear it, and then obey. Alright. Kids, I'm not professional at this. Neither I know. I. I know many of you are like, when's Sister Lisa coming back? I make the videos, so I'm gonna be in the videos. Make it easy on us. So, hopefully, soon, we'll be able to get back together. Right? So here we go. So, this is what we're gonna do. It's it, blessed are those rather who hear it and then obey. It. Now listen. How many of you have ever heard something that you were supposed to do and didn't do it? Oh, yes, right. That's right. We're all gonna raise our hands. Now let's I be mean, fair. I was just waiting for you to raise it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hmm. now look. Some of you just got your report cards, and you did a great job on your report card, right? But some of you could have done better if you had turned in all of your work on time. Now, here's the thing. A zero is the lowest grade possible, and if you don't turn in your work, even it's a zero. Now, let's say you're really bad at something. Like you do something really, really bad, but you turn it in, right? Right? Right. Let's say you get a 10 or a 30 or whatever on it, right? Right. It's still more than zero, right? Right. Now, some of you are like, well, Pastor John, you know, sometimes I'm not really good at things or, or I want to take a break on things. No, 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 wait a minute. If you're told to do something, you need to do it. Now, I'm going to tell you this. When I was a kid, I did not like cleaning up my room. Is there anybody out there in the YouTube Children's Church universe that doesn't like to clean their room? Yeah. Oh, no, it did it on his own. He didn't need his father to help him. <laughs> but uh, I would say, we would say this, we would say this. Noah, go clean your room. John, go clean your room. And we'd go in there and mess around with them. But if we would go in and genuinely try to do our best, uh, you know, and I, I had to share a room with my brother, Michael. And so we went in there and we would try to do our best. We'd come in and our mom would come in and she'd be like, boys, I know you tried. And then she would help us kind of finish up a few things. But if we went in there and we just laid on our bed and pushed a couple of things around and played with our G.I. Joe men and our Ninja Turtles, and our mom came in. Do you think she would help us finish up cleaning up our room, Noah? No. No, she would. She would. She would. And I'm going to tell you this. One of the things in life, uh, I have, I, when I went to college, I had to take a class, right? And it was called Greek, right? And here's the thing, Noah. It's not even the Greek that is spoken in the modern world. It's the Greek that has not been spoken in almost 2,000 years. It's the Greek that the Bible was written in. 
And so, when I had to take it, it was genuinely the hardest class I've ever taken in my entire life. And, you know what? I would spend hours studying Greek. I would spend days studying Greek. I spent an entire semester from September to December studying basically for one class. And all of my other classes kind of suffered a little bit because of that one class. Right, Noah? Right. Now, here's the deal. I got A's in all of my other classes. But I got a C in that one class, right? Now, wait a minute. I try, you know, like all the other classes, man, it was easy for me to do. But that one class that was so hard, I got that C. What grade do you think I was the most happy about? My A in the Gospel of John or my C in Koine Greek? C. That's right. That's right. Because I earned it, right? I went in there and earned it. See, the story of in, in Luke 11 is an interesting story, right? Right. This is how it goes. Noah. Jesus says, there's two sons, right? And a father says, hey, listen, I want you to go uh, clean the bathroom, Noah. And Noah says, I definitely will do it. But then he goes and doesn't do it. But then the father comes to the other son and says, hey, I need you to clean the toilet. And they said, oh, I'm not going to do it. And then he goes and does it, right? And it says, well, which one is the blessed son? Which son would receive the blessing? And it's the one that hears and obeys, right? So it's not just hearing, but it's going the next step and obeying. See, sometimes in our life, God's going to ask you to do some things that are difficult, right? Right. God's going to ask you to, let me tell you, to get out of a situation. Sometimes it's easier to lie to get out of a situation. But Jesus says, don't lie. And I'm going to tell you something. When you don't lie, as you grow up, you become much more of a trustworthy person. And, and, and the Bible says to honor your mother and father. And as you grow older, the more you learn to honor someone else, you get honor in return as well. See, one of the things in life that is difficult for many of us is to do what other people tell us to do. But God is saying here, he's like, listen, I know it's not going to be easy. It's not always going to be easy. Some of you, you're going to be in Greek class, or some of you are going to be in math or in English class. Some of you might be on the playground and to get out of trouble or this or that to, 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 to essentially make your life easy. You're going to try and do something that you shouldn't. But Jesus says, blessed is the person who hears, and you know what you're supposed to do is right. And there's a difference between just knowing what's right and doing what's right. It's okay to know, but you have to do the right thing in order to receive the blessing from God. Is it always going to come out A's and B's? No. But you know you've earned it. Like I said, one of my favorite grades I ever got in college was not my A's and B's, my A's that I got in some of my classes. It was a C that I got in Koine Greek. So sometimes when you do the right thing, you realize the blessing is in the doing of the right thing. All right? All right, you guys ready to go to our next song? Yeah! I don't know. All right. I'm so right, ready. Let's go to our next
All right. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Welcome back, everybody. This is time for the joke portion of our show. <laughs> All right. Okay, Dad. Send us videos of you telling jokes, and we will insert them into the video. <laughs> All right, Noah. You want to go first? Or you want me to go first? I've been saving this joke for a long time. Just real quick. Best bad jokes. But it has to be funny. It can't just be bizarre and awkward. Okay? Ready. Set. Go, Noah. What kind of car does an egg ride? What kind of car does an egg ride in or drive? Drive. What kind of car... Does an egg drive? I don't know. What kind of car is an egg driving? A yolk wagon. <laughs> yolk wagon. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> terrible jokes, everybody. That was a terrible joke, Noah. Yes, I know it is. <laughs> All right. If you think that was a terrible joke. <laughs> You ready? I'm ready. This is it. What does a does the gingerbread man put on his bed? What, what does, does the gingerbread, gingerbread man put on his bed? bed? I do not know, Dad. Cookie sheets. <laughs> 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 That's so terrible! It's so horrible, too! Cookie sheets. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, in case That's you didn't horrible. know... horrible! In case you didn't know, the reason I told that joke is now with Thanksgiving over, it is officially Christmas season! Woo! High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. So, let's get ready to worship Jesus over the next couple of weeks. And I pray that God is with you all. So I'm, I'm going to end this with some prayer, and then we'll go about our merry way. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this day. I thank you for all of our friends. Lord, I pray that you would be with us, guide us, and protect us in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. See you guys soon. Bye.